Hello, Sagittarius. This one's bigger, so it makes more noise. It's time for your mid-February to March reading of this current year, which is 2019. Uh, uh. Okay, sorry. Sagittarius rising in me is just like all excited and playful, and I don't know why an Aquarius moon is just like, I want to say something, and then my Capricorn's just like, all right, you need to like be apologized for because you're getting in the way. Other than that, I'm in a good fucking mood. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, still taking personal readings, so just hit me up in my email. It's in the description below. And I also have my PayPal down there if you want to make a donation. I don't charge for my readings, but I do like tips. So, just putting that out there. I could buy ice cream with the amount of tips. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be Thunderdome reading. There's going to be two readings for group one, group two. Sagittarius, you figure out who you are, and I'll just go ahead and read off whatever. Because I don't know who's who, and I don't like judging. Though I'm more judgmental than Aquarius, but that's beside the point. No, whammies. Group one, here are you. The High Priestess. Ooh, you're seeing things for how they are, are you? The Tower. Oh, my God. Someone wants the Tower? Ooh. Group one, you are brave. Because you never know what the tower brings. But it does help bring new foundations. Um, nine wands. I almost feel like you're observing the tower. From like a dissociation position. Like it's happening in front of you. But you don't feel like you're there. Almost like a shadow, right? Seven of swords reversed in the, in the challenges and obstacles. Eight of swords. And then the... Beginning theme is King of Cups Reverse. Scorpio Pisces Cancer, someone who just doesn't give a shit enough about you to deviate from thinking of his own feelings, right? It could be male or female. That's just a more masculine take on it, mind you. But, um, yeah, this guy is like... Oh, you, your, your feelings are hurt? Oh. Fuck you, you know, like that kind of energy. <laughs> That's the kind of vibe I get from it. I don't know why. Let me go get some more coffee real quick. Because that just, like, cracked me right the fuck up. Ah, oh, it's cold, but that's it. I have a microwave. Okay, so, like, let's see her. Sagittarius. And those dealing with Sagittarius in group one, we have the High Priestess. Someone is keeping secret that they're seeing things for what they really are. She is a secret keeper. She knows things. She witnesses things. She realizes things. And she just is being really perceptive. Like, look at her. Shove all that crap out of the way. Like, get out of my pond, peasant. You know? <laughs> Like, that's the kind of thing I'm getting with her. Like, she's just, like, all out there, all in there, all that shit. Right? Oh. Let's see. Oh! The High Priestess is, like... She says things are how they are, and that's why she's restricting herself with the Empress Reversed. Huh. Now, that is interesting. Mind you, that could be a female Aries, too. Okay, so, like, hear me out on this second, right? The High Priestess is number two card, and the Empress is number three. So it's like someone saw something in secret, and then she became the Empress reversed, right? Like, almost like something triggered her to, like, go into reverse Empress mode some shit, right? At least that's what it looks like to me, because the High Priestess comes before the Empress, and she's laying on top of the other, and it's just kind of like, oh, what is it that happened that caused you to pull back on your emotions, and stop being that nurturing, loving woman that everybody knows and loves, right? Hmm. I, I like, sorry, but that kind of just weirded me out a little bit because it's just like, oh no, that's not the King of. No, that is the King of Cups. This is King of Pentacles. Never mind. 
I was looking in the wrong spot. I thought I was like, wait, 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 wait. I said wrong card. Damn it. <laughs> Let's see. Um, down here, nine of wands, right? Someone is on guard from a Queen of Cups, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, who could be manipulative, who could be in a very, very naughty energy, who is um, using your, possibly using your emotions against you, trying to get into your head. The words bite me come to mind. <laughs> like, I don't know why, but it's just like bite me just immediately. It's like bite me. <laughs> like someone just said that to somebody out of nowhere. Right after they saw something with the high priestess, they immediately went into empress. It was just like bite me. I don't care. Like that's that. I, I swear someone said that. That is, I, I will stand by that till the day I die. I'm not making any bets, but I'm pretty sure someone at some point said, bite me. And then we got the tower over here. Someone's wanting the tower to come down. But I really feel like it's somebody like looking at it like a stranger. You know, like they're involved in it, but they are so mentally, spiritually separated from the event that it's like they're watching it in a movie. Like, they don't even realize that it's them in, unless someone were to record them and look, and they could watch it back. It just doesn't feel like reality, almost. Ugh. Something's in my eye. Jesus. And I'm so sick of it being there. It's been there all morning. You want this in zero, the high priestess, once again. <laughs> like, what? You want this to happen? You want the tower to come on? That's cray cray, man. Like. Was something so bad when you figured it out that you just can't stand looking at it or witnessing it like was it it was it did it put you in a position where you feel like um wow like okay like this is just weirding me out a little bit that's all like that's what it just feels like right now it's like Someone saw something, and now they're wanting, like, everything to be brought down in secret. Like, they aren't even, like, like, the high priestess sees everything, and she knows everything, but she doesn't say shit. She, oh, these are the wrong deck. She is, uh, uh, she is not a snitch. She is not that bitch who's gonna snitch. We got the seven of swords down here, where someone's trying to get away with a little bit of secrecy. They're carrying their burdens with them. Where the world, like, that cycle's complete. Like. Someone's done feeling guilty. I think about this. That's what I really think. I think someone's been feeling guilty about the scenario where they want the tower. Like they've been carrying it around, they've been sneaking around with it, and it's the end of that. Like, they want this. They're done with this. They've seen everything. Like, they recognize what the fuck's going on, and they're just like, I don't like it. Like, bring on the fucking tower. I'll shove you out first, just so I can watch you die. Like, one of those things, right? But not as dramatically as I'm putting it, you know? Like, nobody wants anybody to really die. Unless they're a terrible person. And even then, there's something wrong with them. You know? So, don't wish death on people, as I used in an example. Because it was an exaggeration. That's what hyperbole is for. Or is it hyperbole? I can never figure it out. Um... King of Pentacles reverse. Someone who's kind of a con, who isn't doing their part, doesn't feel like they're successful. The fears and rejections, right? Three of Swords. Someone feels heartbroken about this person not being 
who they really are. Someone I feel like isn't up to standard, and that's why there's a broken heart. Like someone didn't come out. It's like someone like lost the ability to be the provider, the protector, the stabilizer, and they're heartbroken about it. You know. Like, I, like it, that's what it feels like bothers them a little bit. Or maybe somebody figured that out that someone was a liar. Because the King of Pentacles Reverse can be a liar sometimes. He manipulates to get what he wants in order to gain materials. Then we have the Eight of Swords. Someone feels trapped. Stuck. Even though they could walk right out, they just need to kick the little doll in front of the sarcophagus. Because there are things they regret that they can't... They feel as though they cannot get back. Like, they can't get over this. Like, it's too much. It hurts too much. It's been knocked over. It's been ruined. It's been destroyed. It's been everything, right? <clears throat> like, I feel like someone lost a connection. Queen of... One, this is you, Sagittarius. It could be an Aries. It could be a Leo. You are trying to get back in your power. But, I say but very finely. You're having a hard time connecting emotionally with somebody. Possibly a water sign. There is a lack of empathy for anybody but yourself. It's like you're in that... I'm so miserable, my life sucks mode, and like, you know, when you whine like a three-year-old, and then you just get mad when people try to calm you down. Yeah, there's hopes for a new beginning with this, group one. Is this group one? Yes, this is group one. We're only 12 minutes now. There's no way I'm in group two already. I'm not that quick. What's the second advice card? Yeah, someone wants to take an adventure and get the fuck away from this Queen of Cups reversed. This could be the same person, too, so they could be manipulated and not really giving a shit about, um, your feelings and everything, right? They might not give a shit at all. You just, maybe you've been under an illusion that they do. <clears throat> uh, yep, yep, he's still... <laughs> Reversed. He's still reversed. He's still... He gives less of a shit now than what he did before. Could be the same person. But I almost feel like this is the vibe. Like, I don't give a shit. Like, I'm too concerned with myself to, um, give a shit. Bring the tower, bitch. Like, bring it, you know? What's the last device card on this? But I feel like, like, you know, this person still just doesn't care. Like, if, if, if all the, uh, like, king, queen, there's a pairing right here, somebody just doesn't give a fuck anymore. Someone's just like, just bring the tower, I don't care. Nothing, nothing's gonna get better in this scenario, you know? That's the vibe I'm getting. And I got two cards. Someone's taking their time making an offer while... There's a lot of mental torture in it. I feel like I've seen this. But I don't know. I feel like this is familiar. But I don't know why. Anyway, that's group one. Let's go to group two. Chop, chop, kids. Get on the freaking bus. <laughs> We're going to a uh, town. Well, hopefully not. Maybe yours will be better. Maybe you'll have an explanation for why player one is just like devout on seeing the tower coming, you know? Because player one is just, ugh. Group one is just, ugh. Group one is just like, I'm done. Like, I just want to see this shit come down and be ruined so I can move on. It's almost like moving on with a grudge. But let's see what your side says, group two. What does your say in this manner? Mm 
No whammies. Okay. Group one. Or group two, my bad. Two of cups reverse. Oh, okay. No. Death. Ah, could be Scorpio. Ten of swords reversed. That's a hell of a fear. Two of pentacles reversed. King of pentacles reversed. Here he is again. The wheel of fortune. And then the hierophant reverse. Someone needs to learn fucking lessons. <laughs> That's why <laughs> someone's going to learn a lesson. The high rhythm reverse could be a Taurus involved, um, but reverse. I like the thing he needs to learn something. There might even be a mutiny with learning. There might be somebody who just doesn't want to learn something in all this, right? Someone is just like, "Fuck this! I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to know nothing. It's not important, right?" But in truth, it is important because the high rhythm is usually the teacher, but now the teacher needs to be taught something or something that the teacher needs to be granted information for. There's definitely things that are missing here. There's definitely information that isn't being given. Someone's withholding greater knowledge, right? Right. So we have the Two of Cups reversed. Might have been a breakup, might have been a disillusion of partnership somewhere. It doesn't have to be romantic. Well, that's the Two of Pentacles, though. Someone doesn't have an option about doesn't know what options to take about this love relationship. About this possible breakup of sorts. This this unioning. Oh. Someone got what they wish for with it. <laughs> Someone's getting what they want with this breakup. Nine of Cups, that's wish fulfillment. Someone wished for a breakup. And these two of swords, someone's coming out of the torture of it. With the Eight of Swords reversed. Someone's not... Someone might be feeling stuck by their own choices, but they're coming out of that energy. But they're still weighing their options out, so they don't know what to do. But as soon as they get those options, I feel like, they're, they're going to have an easier time, I feel. With the death card, could be Scorpio. Someone's wanting things to change so they could be a victor. That feels so fucking familiar, I swear to God. I feel like I've read this for some already before. We have the king of pentacles right here. Might be a con, might be a liar. He's usually the stabilizer, the protector, the provider. But in this, he's like a mooch. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no idea. This is challenging obstacles. This is your wants and wishes. Somebody wants something to change so they can feel victorious, but they don't know what to do about this King of Pentacles. But they're going to be coming out of that energy in order to get what they want, which is going to be this heartbreaking situation, this breakup that they that's behind the curtain. Like it's like someone's posing while behind the curtain, someone's just beating somebody in the face with a rock. Like, someone's getting their head bashed in with a rock or something. And, like, everyone's like, what's that sound? Oh, it's nothing. Don't even worry about it. It's just the cats arguing. We just took their bells off so we could hear them scream bloody murder. You know? I don't know why I'm so dark in this reading. Like, I'm saying it's really dark stuff. Like, Sagittarius, I know. Like, y'all are into that. Like, if it's cults, you're on it. But it's like, this is like really dark for me to say even for myself it's like i'm saying really violent stuff and i and I, but i don't feel like someone actually wants to hurt somebody does that make sense like so like I, I like i keep wanting to say really horrendous violent shit but I'm not meaning to. And it's like someone, I, I almost want to say that someone's doing the exact same thing. Like someone's saying things that they aren't really meaning. Like probably not even thinking about it, just jumping out of their mouth. Like I'm Sagittarius rising, so I have that habit of like just saying whatever pops into my head, but not really like thinking about what I'm saying. And I'm wondering if some of y'all are doing that too in this scenario, group two. And group one, because I think I did a group one. Yeah, I did have a group one too. Or group one as well, because, like, saying two with group two is really confusing, too. Um, Ten of Swords reversed in the fears and rejections, right? Like, I think Scorpio had this. They, um, I told them this is, like, somebody who is 
feeling betrayal of themselves and taking it out on another person. Like, they're throwing swords at them. Like, why can't you do this right? Why are you doing this? I hate you. And they're sending each sword into it. It's like a betrayal happening. And someone's doing it right there in front of them. Like, just constantly hur hurling verbal and mental shit at them, right? That's, that's the betrayal I feel. And someone's being stuck on that longer than what they're supposed to with the hangman reverse. Like... Almost like a Jesus Christ pose, as I like to say, with my Toth deck. Like, you're doing all of this stuff to me, and, like, you don't understand how it feels while they're mentally harming the other person, right? Almost like a narc, but not a narcissist. What? Okay. <laughs> Final result, as well as the actual catalyst of this all. The Wheel of Fortune's moving. This is your energy, Sagittarius. So you might be the one driving a union. Are you going to break up here and then be back together like you were before? The fuck? It's so dramatic. <laughs> it's like, what is this like? Were you wishing for a breakup, but in the end you still got what you had before? Is that what the lesson you needed to learn? What? Or maybe you're going to a new one. Okay. This is the ending theme. Seven of Cups Reverse might be your options don't look that good to you. And maybe that's what you learn as a valuable lesson. And then this popped up. Queen of Pentacles Reverse. Capricorn Taurus Virgo Energy. Someone might be being bitter. Someone might be acting like someone owes them something. Someone might feel like someone is entitled to, um, should feel entitled to take care of them. Maybe this is the lesson that needs to be learned. And that's why there's no really good options. And maybe that's why y'all broke up to begin with. And now you're back together like you were before. Because that's the vibe I'm feeling right now. It's like someone broke up thinking they could find better. And then like... No. No, it's not happening. Yeah. Look. Still no decision being made in any of this though. Someone isn't coming to a decision. Like that's, like that, I'm sorry, but that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> creep too. Like, I feel like somebody broke up thinking that there was somebody, another option out there. And then they ended up getting back with the person they broke up with. And here's the Hierophant. Someone learned her lesson. <laughs> Someone finally went back to teacher mode. Someone finally like went back to that righteous Taurus energy where everything will be under rules and restriction and we're not gonna vary from that because we know what we're doing. Like that kind of thing, like, you know, establishing order again. <clears throat> Figuring things out. Might still be some things you don't know about, but... I almost feel like the Scorpio is going to be the victor. <laughs> like, it almost seems like that's what it is. Final card. You're going to walk away and go on to better things in the end, man. Like, screw this noise. Like, you loved it, but now it's time to, like, move on. Go on the better things and, like, get your shit going, right? Like, you're going to find great joy. But I'm wondering if this is the person you broke up with now or somebody new. Could be both. You never know. But that is the reading, guys, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.